Up there, look! The power source. It's some kind of core. If we get closer to it, I bet I can grab it with my extractor. this the hard way. Power source we've been tracking? I've never seen a core like this before. Have you, Mac? All the colors are mixed together. Oh, come here, boy. I see that leg. It doesn't look too bad, but I won't be able to fix it here. Can you make it back to the crawler? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go home. All right, Mac. We got what we came for. Let's head back to the crawler. Huh. Guess the core was linked to the local security system. our crawler. Oh, home sweet home. Do a search. Hey, Jewel. Sorry about the other day. 
I've been preparing for your launch a long time. But when your ship finally left Earth, well, I haven't cried that hard since your mother died. I know I can't talk to you directly since you're already in cryosleep. And even if I could, the communication lag would just get worse the farther you got from Earth. So I thought, why not record some messages and send them to you for when you woke up? Consider them half official, half private. Well, guess your old dad can't mope around forever. We've got lots of work to do. Research to make sure the Far Eden project succeeds. I'm going to do all I can to support you and the other heroes on that ship. And that includes Mac, who I hope is sleeping close beside you. Until next time. Chief Scientist and Far Eden Project Leader. Today is April 17th, 2053, the first day of my first shift on the surface of the planet. All the other teams landed safely and are sleeping in their crawlers. Forecasts predict a break in the storms a few days from now, so I should be able to receive transmissions from Mandate Mission Control. Of course, they'll be decades old due to the distance between Earth and Far Eden, but I'll take any news I can get. In the meantime, I have plenty to do. First, see how many of the Corbot advance units are operational. Mankind has a whole new world to build, and we can't do it on our own. <laughs> 